hello friends welcome back to the channel today we will be continuing the himalayan voltage regulator rectifier with the second part and uh, the main agenda of this video is now to monitor the three phases of the alternator by using an oscilloscope so this is hand tech oscilloscope 602 bbl this is a three phase alternator output pin so coming from the alternator and i have connected three wires here for each phase to monitor in the oscilloscope and i have one more wire this is battery ground so this i have taken from the battery and uh, now we will be connecting these wires with the oscilloscope and start monitoring the waveforms so for the first time in the youtube i think uh, you can able to have insight about uh, how exactly the alternator works in a bike now we'll measure coil resistance if it is correct or not so it's 1.9 nel keeping for other two this is also around 1.9 so the coils are working perfectly and they are in good condition this is an handtech usb based oscilloscope and i have connected it to the pc where you can see here the both the probes are getting monitored and these two probes i can connect only to two pins simultaneously so for three phase we cannot see directly at the same time so two waveforms we can see at uh, one time in this uh, scope now we will connect this pin voltage regulator rectifier input and uh, this is the alternator output so we will join both of this you can see here i <coughs> have connected the three phase uh, alternator output to the vrr input and the oscilloscope probes have been connected to the two of only two of the phase so since we have two probes and one important setting you can see here is in the 10x mode means the signal will be attenuated 10 times and the common ground is connected to the battery connector you can see now i have made some changes to the circuit to avoid damage to the oscilloscope due to voltage surge now i have added a voltage divider circuit so this is 1:3 to 3 divider circuit and i am collecting the probe output between the three phase alternator output and ground so i am tapping the in between lines so this attenuates the signal by 1 is to 3 ratio so it will be safer to operate for the oscilloscope and for further safety i have kept it at uh, 10x mode so 1 is to 3 first attenuation and then further 1 is to 10 attenuation here initially we will be now uh, seeing the waveforms of uh, two phases from the alternator only two phases output will be seeing now start
in the second set of uh, waveform study uh, we will be connecting uh, one of the probe to just one phase ac in among the three phase i am connecting only one here and uh, the second to the rectifier output so here i have disconnected the rectifier from the battery to see how pure the waveform of dc will come here so this uh, experiment is meant for uh, only one or twice since the battery will drain quickly as the rectifier output is not connected back to battery so we have to perform it very quickly monitoring the third set of uh, waveforms here uh, i'm connecting uh, two probes to the two phases of ac while the dc output remains disconnected so you can see vrr output it remains disconnected Some of the key things we observed during our testing of waveforms. Let's go through one by one. First of all, we saw uh, the clipping of waveforms due to high voltages. To avoid this clipping, uh, we further added a voltage divider circuit from the alternator output to the probe of uh, oscilloscope to avoid any kind of uh, high voltage damages to the oscilloscope. We did these two things initially. Then, as soon we further proceeded with uh, the testing, we observed that uh, the waveforms are getting distorted. Uh, one of the reason we can see is uh, when the alternate output is connected to the voltage uh, regulator rectifier input, we could see these frequent uh, distortions. This was one of the key observation we made. Then comes uh, once the uh, regulator rectifier uh, input is uh, disconnected from the alternator we could see the pure sinusoidal waveforms so this was observed and in these waveforms we could see there have been continuous spikes at regular intervals this is due to the pickup coil that takes up of every one rotation you can see these occurs at exactly same interval of time so these are all the observations that's all for today thank you